Ladies and gentlemen, I am back with another reaction video. But before I start, please check out our new gaming channel. The link is in the description below. I normally live game stream on the weekends. So if you see me on, come by, say hello. I greatly appreciate it. Again, the link is in the description below. Today, guys, we're gonna be reacting to Cry Freedom, starring Denzel Washington. Cry Freedom is about a South African journalist, Dama Woods, who is forced to flee the country after attempting to investigate the death in custody of his friend, the black anti-apartheid activist, Steve Biko. I just started reading a book about Steve Biko. Uh, I write what I like. Uh, so far, it's pretty good. Uh, like I said, I've been reading a lot about history and uh, actually about Africa and black nationalisms. I hear a lot of lessons are in this movie. So, you know, I wanted to check it out and I uh, wanted you guys to check it out with me. So let's get right into it. Cry Freedom starring Denzel Washington, which I've never seen. This is my first time seeing this. Uh, so let's check out Cry Freedom starring Denzel Washington. All the events are true. Oh, okay. 1975, man, November, I was uh, like four months old. Uh, they're going to run over people. And it's just hitting people. You're burning the place, beating people. After warning your squatters to vacate the area in the interests of public health. Public health? Look at him just tearing the place down. Look at them bulldozing these people's homes. Were you listening to the radio? If they caught him, we'd have heard. Uh -huh. Oh, poor baby. I'll even give you a byline. Are uh, you a prince? What about Mr. Beaker? I use his name in the story. His, his picture was everywhere. Biko couldn't have been there, of course, but uh, one of these people mad enough about black consciousness, that I'd say was almost the same. I'm reading that he was like the, the father of black consciousness is what he, they label him or some people might label him. One bunch of lunatics saying white supremacy justifies anything. All we need is some black nutcase saying black supremacy is going to save the world. Hmm. What's black supremacy? Oh, the ugly menace of black racism. What's black racism? I would like to know who's responsible for this. What's black racism? Hmm. If you are the honest newsman you claim to be, you ought to go and see him. Yeah, because I don't think he understands. Because I'm confused about what he is believing anyway. He's in King Williams Town right now. That's his banning area. Oh, she knew where he was. Okay. Okay. He's a person that seems open to hearing people out. A lot of people be like, nah, I know who he is. I already, you know, this is this is my perspective. I know who he is and what he's about. I don't need to go see him. I can admire him going to want to talk to the man, hear this stuff from him, his own mouth. Going to a church, all right. Churches have been safe havens. I get it. Mr. Donald Woods. Yes, I'm Donald Woods. I'm Steve's wife. You see, we're trying to make a kind of community center where black people can meet. You'll find him out there. I'm already intrigued on what their interaction is going to be throughout this movie. I know they are friends. So how does it start? The beginning Steve Pico? is where I want to learn something here. How do they... Are he standing right there at the tree. You see, if a third person comes into their room even to bring coffee, that breaks the bend. But of course, you would approve of my banning. No, I think your ideas are dangerous, but no, I don't approve of banning. A true liberal. A liberal, yeah. That's what he talks about in his book. The liberal is a, got a wise liberal, whatever that means. A white liberal who clings to all the advantages of his white world is perhaps not the person best qualified to tell blacks how they should react to apartheid. How do you tell a white liberal from a white 
uh, Republican? Like, so how do you differentiate? I wonder what sort of liberal you would make, Mr. Pico, if you were the one who had the job and the whites lived in townships. <laughs> it's a charming idea. It is, right? It's a charming idea. This is going to be interesting. The conversations they have. You know, I've been trying to learn more about life. You know, my life, right? Understand it better. And I think I might have said this in videos before, but I, the, I, I feel that we have been put on this planet to solve problems. And our biggest problem is the race problem, the racism, white supremacy problem. But as you can tell, regardless of what you look like, you can have a conversation with people, you know, a cordial conversation with people about anything, even racism. I suddenly realized it wasn't just good jobs that were white. The only history we read was made by the white man, written by the white. Now, in a way like that, it's not hard to believe there's something inferior about being born black. <laughs> good stuff. You see, we know how you live. We cut your lawns, we cook your food, clean your rubbish. How would mm -hmm. you like to see how we live? So he lives with them. And you know what? I never, I didn't even realize this when Denzel did this movie. Apparently someone important heard him make a speech that impressed him. Thanks, Evelyn. He is impressive. He hasn't talked you into black consciousness. No. Black consciousness. I'm reading this book. I got to get a better understanding of what, what we believe black consciousness is. I think this is worth the risk. The education of a white liberal. <laughs> if you get caught out of your banning area, well. Banning area. This man built a clinic, trying to educate children. Why? A domestic maids. So they only get to see their kids for a couple of hours on Sundays. Drunks, thuggery. Yeah? The kid you, a few years ago. Yeah, maybe more scared. And you see their streets, their cars, their houses, and you begin to feel there is something not quite right about yourself. Damn. Because no matter how dumb or smart a white child is, he is born into that world. A black child, you are born into this, and you'll die in it. I'm not defending what's been done here. But he's the one who's against the liberals. Huh? You want to give us a slightly better education so that we can get slightly better jobs. Allowed to sit at your table using your silver and your china. Right. We want to wipe the whole table clean. And install it with a system of justice. And replace it with a system of justice. All begin with brother and sister. We took care of each other. We got a lot of things right, which your society never solved. You did have tribal wars. That's right, we none of us ever live right. Because in your world, anything white is normal. And your real genius is that for years you've managed to convince most of us of that too. Man, this is a good movie, man. But I think if we all sit down and have a conversation and we explain, like Steve Biko is explaining to Donna Woods, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I want you to brief them on our copy rules. Eve, could you take them upstairs to see Bob? Tell him to give them their assignments. Where, um, where are they going to work? In the newsroom. Oh, I'm sure the white readership will be delighted. And when they start ranting on about black consciousness... Whatever they talk, whatever they just telling the truth? Whatever they just speaking the truth? People don't want to hear the truth? We'll stand up to him any way he chooses. Conflict if he likes, but with an open hand too. To say that we can all build a South Africa worth living in. As beautiful as this land is, as beautiful as we are. As beautiful as we are. You build this all over the world, people. That's the one who made the speech. Sit down. Oh, wow. Well, guess they did. What was wrong with his speech? Out of your banding area, talking to a crowd, inciting racial hatred. I don't know what he's talking about. What you mean, racial hatred? You are not going to send me to a Pretoria court on the evidence of a paid informer in a cardboard box, are you? <laughs> Don't. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I should not be laughing at violence, man, but my goodness. You see, there's nothing to fear. Yeah. We're just as weak and human as you are. 
Ask questions, man. Yeah. What are you afraid of? I believe that South Africa is a country in which black and white shall live together. It means that I believe that South Africa is a plural society with contributions to be made by all segments of the community. The naked terrorism of the government? Do you honestly yeah. think that is a valid statement? Let him explain it. Let me see. I'm talking about the indirect violence you get through starvation in the townships. I'm talking about the hopelessness, the desolation of the transit camps. Now, I think that, all put together, that constitutes more ter terrorism. Yeah. The words these men have spoken here, but they stand charged. How about that? And white society is not charged. That's right. We demand confrontation. Isn't that a demand for violence? Well, you and I are now in confrontation, but I see no violence. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say that the white government is doing anything good? Well, it does so little good, my lord, that it is not worth commenting on. My lord, blacks are not unaware of the hardships they endure. People must not just give in to the hardships of life. They must find a way, even in this environment, to, to develop hope. Solve problems without mistreating people. That's what we want to do. Solve problems without mistreating people. We didn't colonize this country, Mr. Woods. We built it. Huh? This is a black country, he says. God. So What's here was built as much slain. by the Ghana blood and toil as ever it was by the blacks. I know what you're saying. Don't think I don't understand that argument. I do. Of course you do. An eyewitness saw a security police captain and some of his men smashing the place up. But I felt it would be more effective in any case if you took some action internally. I appreciate your attitude, Mr. Woods. What are you going to do? I assure you, this is something I'll pursue. Well, let's see. I'm Donald Woods. You made a complaint to the Minister of Police. Must name the witness, or you will go to prison until you do. See that? You see that? Do you see how that works? My question is for these two dudes. Like, do y'all have the same beliefs? Like, I don't blame... You can't blame the other guy. You got to ask these two dudes. Are y'all cool? Are y'all cool with what you're doing? A bent policeman is a bent policeman, Soga. He breaks the same heads for the same reason, to substitute a black one for the white one. It's not worth the price of one child. Never mind the six months in jail for Mr. Woods. <laughs> <laughs> you sure going to jail? We have orders to search these premises. Do you have a warrant? We can take a look at that. Fine. Just turn the page, please. Could you read a little faster? No, bro, you had to read the whole thing. I've had police search my car once, and they don't put anything back. At least try to, they don't even try to pack it back nice and neat. They just leave it like it is, man. They don't give two craps. If you think the bed, this ain't the baby brother. You better check the walls, homie. We'll be back. Now, my mind would be like, okay, he's stalling, so he's hiding some. Something. Something's in here. Gotcha. <laughs> Good stuff. Him! Him, be careful! Who that? Oh, that's, that's, that's uh, my guy. I want to know about my pet coming into a white area. This is my country. I go where I like. Okay then, Steve. All right, you go where you like if you want. Well, being well, I'm going to Cape Town in a couple of days. It's a meeting of black students there. An important one, and before they take a stand, I want them to hear what I have to say. My pet is dead. Hmm? They what? claim he hanged himself in his cell. Oh, they killed him. You shouldn't go to Cape Town. It's too dangerous. Yeah, they're gonna, for sure. Don't try to kill you, brother. That's most definitely, that's suicide, for sure. They're gonna for sure try to kill you. It's a dangerous country. It's a dangerous world, brother. That's a good point. I guess they didn't come here and kill me if they want. They could've killed them another night. Oh, they gonna kill him on the way there. What's your name, Gaffer? Say your name! Bantu Stephen Biko. He was going to uh, Cape Town, but he didn't have like a back route or, cause you know, they, I'm pretty sure they were watching him. I don't know. That was kind of a quick transition.
I mean, so he's barely breathing. Must be seen by a specialist. We'll take him to the police hospital in Victoria. I ain't gonna do anything. I think I hope he dies. 700 miles. He might escape from the hospital here. They look at him as something other. They're not, not a, they're a human. Dies in custody. Hey. What have they done to you? All right. I can take pictures from every angle. We can come together for a funeral. We can come together on Sundays. We can come together for holidays. But we can't come together to solve this big problem. The fact is that Beaker had gone on a hunger strike. We tried to feed him by intravenous drip. That man told you we were not about to get this up. He told you. We're going to force them to have an inquest. But you're going to talk about Beaker. I'm telling you, Donald, they won't stop at niceties. Yeah, what are you? Kruger lied. If we expose it, they're going to have to admit how Steve really died. And what does that prove? We already know. He just told you it's a system. What does that prove? Don't worry about that. You won't be on the flight. Mm-hmm. Donald James Woods are declared a banned person. Again, my question is for these two guys, not for the people that made the order. Like, what are, you, what are y'all's beliefs? Because y'all are carrying out this. He's really gone crazy. Y'all carrying out this stuff, so obviously y'all believe what he believes, am I right? So let's have a conversation so I understand who I'm dealing with. What you've written about Steve is treason. If I get caught smuggling it out, we'd both get what Nelson Mandela got or what, you know, what happened to Steve? Leave here, permanently. My question would be, are you gonna be doing the same stuff somewhere else? I mean, what's the difference? Bruce contacted a publisher in England. They want my book. I'm about to read this book, Biko. Because you want a book published. You're going to rip the kids from their schools? It's a nice beat, nice view. There's just no other writer who knows Steve's story like I do. Donald, you're 43 years old. You just met this man do? two years ago. Trevor, what is it that he wants? We have to do what we can, and this book is what I can do. He's saying the book is what he can do. All right. I'm not qualified to criticize anybody, anybody's way of fighting racism. I'm not qualified. No, Dad. Becoming a legend. What, what? Oh, my goodness. What is this? I'm trying to burn. I don't know. They done did something to the shirts, man. Found out that the security police sent those t-shirts. Yeah, probably. But yeah, most likely they did. I mean, or somebody else. How do you know who did it? I'm a priest waiting across the border. She do it at night. And once you're across, I'll be here to drive you to Maseru. You hitchhike to the rendezvous point. It should be easy if you don't leave too late. If someone phones me and I'm not there. New Year's Eve, you've gone to bed quite drunk. <laughs> the next morning, Wendy drives off to the beach. She really goes to her parents in Umtata. Phone her the minute you are in Lesotho at 10 o'clock. I still like to see how they get along in, in the village. I'm not, you know. Like, who's, like, maybe taking Steve's place? You know, what's going on there? Are they still teaching? Wendy, don't forget to pick up the projector. The what? You better stop playing with me. Thank God you reminded me. I completely forgotten. Are you serious? Oh, she was serious. I thought she was cracking a joke. All right. Lady, you better pick that projector up. I'm going towards Queenstown. I'll go as far as you're going. <laughs> Oh, don't mind him. It just makes a lot of noise. Brother, just happy. He's hitchhiking pretty well. I wonder, like, if you saw uh, uh, somebody have a collar and clothes on like that, would you give him a ride? Because you think he's a priest or a pastor or something? That on the available evidence, the death cannot be attributed to any act or omission amounting to a criminal offense on the part of any person. 
I mean, don't look shocked. Don't look shocked. Don't be mad. Don't look shocked. Who y'all? Who y'all asking for justice from? I'm a priest, get away from this truck. Now, I'll break your goddamn neck. Aren't you a? Aren't you a priest? Talk like that. <laughs> go for them but why I, I was just the locals told us you were trying to get to queenstown we can get you there in a couple of hours oh we're cool get in please up father will you y'all picking up people on the way still want to go past queenstown uh the ignorance is is outstanding right or oh, astonishing a phrase like black is beautiful because black is commonly associated with negatives why call yourselves black i mean question. you people are more brown than black why do you call yourselves white you people are more pink than white precisely huh i may say precisely i'm confused i expected you three hours ago hurry up hurry up get in man so he's with somebody, some recon a recognizable face. He can feel a little better. He still got a ways to go. There's Lesotho over there. I'll get across. Now go before easy, we're seen together. Don't get me nervous. How you gonna get across there? Oh, you can go down there. You may, okay. Calm right there. Ooh, uh, brother, they get a little deeper. You gotta do some swimming. Is there someone we can trust who's got a car? I trust me. And I have a car. All right then. You, Master Editor, Donald Woods, Amapul, Azagunya. He about to come up. Kruger will shit himself. <laughs> Bro, I might as well walk. <laughs> Bro, we ain't gonna make ten miles. <laughs> what well, told you we were gonna make ten miles? Where's the porter? Oh, it's down there. Oh, okay. He got him there. <laughs> Someday when things have changed, I'll come back. You and I'll have a beer together. I hold you to that. It's locked. Yes. It should be open. It's seven o'clock. Hey, that's Jeffrey from Fresh Prince, isn't it? Put your bag in the cab. I'll give you a ride across. I'm Father Karen. My name's Moses. <laughs> Stop this. You got to spend so much time sitting outside your gate. That's what the trouble is. The Terex is working again, young. What's he doing? Oh, they're heading our way. Ah. Now you should just turn around and say, Moses, thank you again for the ride. Just play to play it off. You need anything to get them off of. Yeah, you are. Yeah, he all right. Father. Mm hmm. Brave man to drive with him. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, the music is turned to like celebration kind of. Yeah, yeah. That's why those kids in Soweto refusing to be taught in Afrikaans are taking chains off their minds that no one will ever be able to put back. I made it. <laughs> hey, hey. Bless you, my son. It's 8.30. Yeah, we've got to move. It took me two hours coming down yesterday. You ain't gonna make it. My brother. Now, there ain't no, ain't no asphalt or nothing. Where they, where they cuts? Where the tire squealer sound coming from? I would assume that he might be late, right? So I would give him an hour. You can't get stopped by the police. Wait a minute, they didn't tell her that she was leaving? Wait a minute, y'all didn't, I guess they couldn't, but still y'all could've- something very wrong here, Charlie. Oh, they didn't even tell her. Okay, come on now. Now, right here. They came off a dirt road. All you would hear was I've been on dirt roads. I've been on ground roads. I've been on all. I ain't never heard a car make that noise on a dirt road. Who 
Lord, I know, I dear, you're a priest. I'm not, but I desperately need to use your phone. Please. Okay, you got the entire. Hello, Donald. Yes. Donald, shall we still make for the Telly Bridge crossing? Yes. From where you are, you, you should have good roads most of the way. But just hurry. I, I think we need not miss the issue here of what Steve Biko has been saying. Let's not miss that issue. You would have to overfly South African territory. And they demand that all planes land in South Africa. Could they force us to land? They have no shortage of military planes. They can shoot you down, yeah. They'll have to stay in a hotel overnight. We'll telegraph to have them met at Telebridge. I don't like this. Well, you're just gonna walk across? You don't get a car? You can drive? Is this like a little bridge or something? Mommy. Are y'all flying or his head and grew his head and grew out? The South African government have told the Lesotho government they refuse transit for the plane. They don't give a stuff about the press. They've shown that. And they will shoot you down like here. Mr. Wood, we've arranged to get United Nations passports for Austria. And the Prime Minister has decided I should accompany you. We must hurry. Oh well, yeah. yeah. We hope that these passports and my being here. I think the South Africans hesitate. You put a you put a black man in that plane. I'm think we confused on what, <laughs> what are you talking about. You, you put it, there's another target in there. Picked up the flight. Of course. Demanding to know who's on board. Tell yeah. them one Lesotho official and seven holders of United Nations passports. Well, uh, that's gonna be more suspicious. I mean, I'd be scared if I was a kid. <laughs> I'd be petrified, brother. I want to get in this play. Beginning of the end, Donald. Change the way people think and things will never be the same. Hmm. The kids. They may shout a little bit, break a few windows, but... What's your children? Remember, we were children. <laughs> That's beautiful. Like, if we could get like this mentally, if we can get mentally on the same page as a people, and as a world, man, we'll be all right. Oh, oh. Now stop! Stop right there! Bruh, a lot of people. Get ready, go! I'm warning you! Bruh! Oh, they just gonna shoot at me. Bruh, don't shoot these children. Oh, but uh, More than 700 school children were killed in the Soweto disturbance that began on June 16, 1976, and over 4,000 were wounded. Smart or dumb, brother, you are born and we this. think things are getting better. Smart or dumb, we made progress. You'll die, brother. No, stop it. Them children just want to be educated the way they want to be educated. By well, act of parliament in 1960, the South African government legalized imprisonment without trial. Since that time, the following are the official explanations for all known deaths in detention. Suicide. Suicide by hanging. Suicide by hanging. Suicide by hanging. Suicide by hanging. Suicide. Thrombosis. Fell down stairs. No official explanation. No official explanation. Fell down stairwell. Hunger strike. Suicide by hanging. Shot while escaping, natural causes, fell five floors, shot while escaping, asthma attack, suicide by hanging, shot while escaping, epilepsy, suicide by hanging. Hey y'all, all right man, like, you know, movies like this uh, sure present multiple lessons. I believe Steve Biko's message is the most important of this movie. To me, I believe he wants to replace this system of injustice of racism and replace it with a system of justice where we guarantee no one gets mistreated and the people that need the most constructive help gets the most constructive help. 
And I think that's what he was trying to say. We can do that all as a people, right? We're all in this together. We're all on this planet together. I know we create these countries and boundaries. You know what I'm saying? But in reality, we're all just one people on this planet. I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, Denzel always uh, brings great acting to a movie. Even Kevin Klein played a good role, but I really enjoyed the first half of the movie with Denzel and Biko. But the part of the movie when Biko and Donald Wood were uh, interacting and they were learning from each other and, and mainly Donald Wood was understanding reality, right? But that part of the movie was really the most important to me, you know, teaching people why about the system we in and understanding reality, right? You know, and stop, stop, you know, ignoring things that you obviously see. But anyway, guys, y'all let me know what y'all thought about uh, Cry Freedom in the comments section below. And if it's your first time visiting us, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share. It's wonderful, wonderful channel. Guys, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until next time, people, peace.